Hey, welcome. <laughs> I just used in this Amazon box for some art. Did you know you can use cardboard in your art? That's pretty damn cool. <laughs> Join me today as we make some art using corrugated cardboard. Now, let's dive in. Come on. Welcome, Sea Rockers. I'm working with an 11 by 14 uh, wood board, wood panel board today. It's all primed and ready to go. And so I'm taking that fancy cardboard and I just decided I would cut it into a, a landmass or like a coastline. But the whole reason I love using cardboard is for this reason right here, the corrugation. You take that top layer off and you can see on the right, I've taken a lot of stuff off. <laughs> And um, exposing those funky little rows of uh, cardboard. And there's so much you can do uh, with it that it just gives kind of an organic texture to your artwork. If you think this cardboard technique is as cool as I do, please give that like button a splash. I'd appreciate it. To these organic cells, I'm gonna add my love-hate relationship of gold leafing. And I decided instead of using the adhesive that comes with it, I was gonna use some TurboTacky glue by Aileen's. When that glue was tacky, I went ahead and applied the gold leafing. And I went ahead and did that across all of the cells. Even though I say it's a love-hate relationship, um, I actually do kind of like doing this now. <laughs> it's so much fun, especially, especially the brushing off part where I get to make pixie dust everywhere. And then you get to re you can reuse that, uh, all that gold flex if you save it. And uh Anyway, I just, I love this part. <laughs> it just reveals the art and just, I don't know, this looks pretty. While all those pretty gold flecks were drying, it was time to uh, move on to the abstract water part. And I'm just adding some modeling paste, giving a little texture to the background. I like how when the paint, you know, pulls in some areas and moves across other areas, it just gives uh, interest and, and depth to your, your uh, art piece. Once that was dry, it was time for some paint. And I'm just using acrylics thinned down with some water. And I decided to use some greens this time. I don't have a whole lot of green because mostly I use blues. But uh, I took what I had and I mixed up some colors and I think in the end it, it added a lot of interest and I really enjoyed using the green palette. To the greens then I contrasted some tans, ivories, and gold. And I think in the end it turns out quite pretty. And here's a pretty close up just of how the colors all kind of blend together while it's still wet. And my iPhone is so much better than the web camera that I use. So I often shift back and forth. So never mind how this looks at this moment because <laughs> it doesn't end up looking like baby puke. <laughs> so to add some more interest and depth, I went ahead and mix up some modeling paste with some sand and that'll give it a little more texture and some more places for the paint to pull in and add interest around. And to those little uh, sandy islands, I've added some gold and some greens. 
and just continue to add different layers of paint of different colors until I achieve uh, a look that I'm happy with. Well, with my iPhone in one hand and the paintbrush in the other, I'm going in and adding a darker green to add some shadows and depths, and then I will blend that out. While the paint was drying, I moved over to the land mass and I'm adding the texture to it. Now I'm doing it before I attach it because the cardboard is going to uh, warp just a little bit. So anyway, this is the first layer and then I'll do the second layer on the piece. Don't forget to follow me on my other social media platforms. I would love to see you there. And now that everything's dry, I'm going to bring the two together by adding my modeling paste, finishing off that edge. And this is where I'll add the final layer and texture to uh, this part. This is how it turned out. Now it's resin time. I took some green mica powders and kind of mixed it to create uh, just kind of a transparent uh, green. And I'm using my hand because I don't want to, it's, it's not supposed to be a flood coat. It's just supposed to add to it. So I'm just making sure I don't get too much on there and seeing how the colors work together. And the resin I'm using today is probably one of my new favorites, uh, which is art resin. When I first started doing resin work, I worked with art resin and uh, I've, I've come back to it because I really, really, really like the finish on art pieces. It's just so crystal clear and can't be matched in my opinion. So to this piece, I'm also adding a little bit of gold and then I'll blow that out with the uh, heat gun and it will add a lot to this piece. And you can see how when I add those ribbons of gold to this, it gives it almost a, a marbling look, a kind of effect, and uh, I really like it. I'm adding a second layer to this piece just to give it some more dimension. And I wanted to tone down some of those yellows. So I am using some more green mica powder in the uh, resin. And essentially, I'm just gonna repeat what I did in the first layer. Our piece is almost done. Stay for the reveal. And here it is outside, sparkling so wonderfully. All that gold and the shimmery Marco powder. Hey, thanks for joining me today. I hope you're inspired to try some cardboard in your art. I invite you to join the Sea Rocker family. Like, share, and subscribe with your salty friends. And don't forget to follow me on my other social media platforms. Thanks for watching. Until next time, go beach or go home.